Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this series Blender for Biology today I am going to make cell membrane which is consisting of phospholipid layer I am going to insert some membrane protein and we will make a cell membrane with membrane protein which consists of phospholipid layer so let's go ahead and start with a new file Control N, new file, general and delete the cube x for deleting the cube and tilde key go to front view shift a and insert aqua sphere and let's make three subdivision that should be good enough tap to go in edit mode zoom in so let's go for face selection this one and hold shift key and maybe this one yeah now we need to extrude this one so e for extrude and this one is going on y-axis so we need to make it plain for that one S for scale, Y for scaling in Y axis and 0. So now it is clean, hit enter. Now we can extend it. E for extend, E for extend, and E for extend. And now the last one we can make it little pointed in the end. S for scale and yeah now it looks like a phospholipid head go to tab into edit mode and wireframe mode so now we can do some modification okay we need to change this one to vertex mode so select this one G for grab in like little bit change it G for grab G for grab right this one G for grab and change it same thing with this one G for grab we don't want to make it like more smooth so let's make it little rough and moving in different orientation so so tab okay uh, maybe maybe we'll see how it looks like okay not bad so shade smooth right click shade smooth so looks much better and now we need to make a layer and for that one shift D for duplication and G for grab and Y for moving on Y axis move like this and now we rotate it R Y 1 80 I think this is doesn't work so R for rotate X for rotating in X axis and 180 okay now it looks good hit enter and G for grab Y for moving on Y axis and we can place them together okay now it looks much better G Y okay so select both and control J for merging them together and now we can make it more and let's duplicate this one shift D for duplication shift D and G for grabbing X for moving on X axis Shift D, G for grab and X for moving an X axis. Shift D, G for grab and X for moving an X axis. Shift D, G for grab, X for moving an X axis. Shift D, G for grab and X for moving an X axis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now it looks good. So now what we'll do? Now we'll add some material to this one. So go to material, new material and we just give a color so light okay let's come here okay so
so we can make it little shiny for that one increase the okay no we'll make this one metallic and little shiny okay second one so second one will make little pinkish color and we'll make this little shiny no metallic okay and the other one new so let's go to little light blue color right so little shiny okay and maybe increase metallic a little bit okay and other one so add a new color so maybe somewhere on purple and decrease the roughness make it more shiny and increase the metallic yeah and for another one which color would be a good idea to light green color light green not much light green color and maybe a little bit of roughness and this one maybe somewhere on the reddish side so let's go to okay ready side and roughness little bit down metallic little bit up okay now we can use this material for <coughs> making the membrane so select everything hit m and make a new collection so i'll give a new name phospholipid So we made a new collection and we can move this new collection on side G for grab and X for moving an XX so put it somewhere on the side now we'll come here and we'll insert a plane shift A and let's insert one plane and S for scaling the plane maybe this much is fine right yeah and maybe we can increase the subdivision so new Sorry. modifier add modifier and then subdivision sub surface modifier simple and maybe go to four four yeah and now we have to go to particle properties and add a new particle system and we'll, we are going to add the hair, hair particle and now we can use this phospholipid to make a membrane so go to render and instead of path select object no collection because we have a collection so go to collection and in instance collection you can choose phospholipid or you can just do the picker and okay now we see it here how it looks like yeah maybe increase the number of particle system 10,000 10,000 looks better right and maybe a little more we can add you know so how it looks like so now it looks like a cell and yeah. so i'm not going to change a lot of properties in this video so maybe i can play a little bit on next video part two if i make it if not this is going to be the one and other thing we need to see is if we can do some membrane protein or not so we should be able to insert some membrane membrane protein here so that it looks much better so i'll go to google and look for membrane protein membrane Protein. 
cell membrane protein. So, plasma membrane, membrane protein, transmembrane protein. So, let's see what is the membrane protein. So, potassium channel, okay, 6EBK. Okay. Go to PDB, protein database. CBK. okay this is one of the membrane protein so I can import this protein in blender and if you don't have the bio blender or molecular node you can get a new one so okay so I'm going to molecular node so you can add this add-on and type the name of the protein and hit download okay and you have to go to the render view and we have to look for protein and for that one if sometimes you don't see in EV rendering so you have to go to cycles rendering and you have to change this to GPU compute okay and now let's see if we can plan Okay, maybe we have not inserted it. So let's download the protein. Oh, oh okay. Now we can see there is a protein. G for grab and Z for moving in Z axis. And now we can bring our plane back. Right. And S for scale, make it a little bigger. G for grab and Z for moving on z axis right g for grab and shift g moving on y and x axis g for grab and z for moving on z axis so one thing i see is maybe the color is more like the protein so it doesn't look good so maybe we need to change the color of our cell membrane so for changing the color let's go here so let's change the green to a different color texture so somewhere like this one and Okay, maybe some yellow, I can add some yellow color. So maybe one of the pink color, I can make it yellow. Yellow side, right. Okay. How it looks now. now. Okay. Maybe much better. And now we have to play with the lighting also. And let's add more of this protein. Shift G and Shift G for moving on X and Y axis. So somewhere right here. And Shift D and Shift G moving on somewhere. Right. Shift D, Shift G moving on X and Y axis. Shift D and Shift G moving on X and Y axis, not on the Z axis and maybe somewhere in the center shift D and shift G moving on X and Y axis and shift D shift G moving on X and Y axis okay maybe looks better so now I have to play with the light and for that one let's insert a light G for grab and Z for moving on Z axis right in G for grab and Y for moving on Y axis no G for grab and X for moving on X axis okay somewhere in the center 
in the beginning okay so maybe we'll bring little bit down g for grab in g for moving on z axis okay so we can change the color of the light light blue color or yellow color green color red color pink color blue color so whatever looks good so somewhere on this side okay for grab and shift C for moving on x and y axis okay so change the power of the light 2000 and shift D here shift D somewhere here shift D Move light different G for grab and somewhere right here. Right, yeah. So if we don't have light on all the tricks, so we can add the light. Shift D. G and X for moving an axis is so this corner and maybe some light on the other corner also shift D and Y for moving an Y axis right X for G and X for moving an X axis okay so let's duplicate this light shift D looks much better now yeah so let's fix the camera second thing we can do so if this view is good so we can fix the camera so to fix the camera you hit Control alt and numpad zero little bit down yeah yeah now shift Control Alt N numpad zero. Okay, it looks good now. So let's see the render view, render image. So this is the final rendered image we have. So this is still working. So we have four thousand ninety six samples and it is still working. So it will look much better compared with our EV rendering. So if we do EV rendering, the quality goes down. So I think this looks much better, but there are plenty of things we can do to improve this one to make it more real. So we can work with the light and we can work with the shading and we can play a little bit around for the animation. So this is the final rendered image of cell membrane with the membrane protein around. And in the next lecture, we'll be talking about the detail of the shading and lighting and how to make it more realistic so this much for this video and thank you so much for watching this video and if you like to learn more about blender for biology genomics bioinformatics then please subscribe to my channel and like and comment my content thank you so much and i'll see you in next episode of blender for biology mm -hmm.